we are delighted to announce that there are three, three rodents in this year's Sweet 16. And no cats. Ha! Mm. We will nevertheless strive for objectivity in our recaps. Sort. I am MC Marmot, and this is March Mammal Madness. <laughs> Hey, MC, I'm back in Scotland with the Golden Eagle. She's had a really easy time so far. But now, the oh, fearsome Paleocaster has arrived. Oh, it, the, the Paleocaster's not really all that big, is it? And, whoa, here comes a Golden Eagle swooping down and, oh no. Same old story. The Eagle has sliced up this slice of prehistory. The Sweet 16 is the last round for the higher seed to enjoy home habitat advantage. As a result, the Dick Dick landed in hot, sunny Algeria. She went in search of shade and encountered the Hyrax. The Hyrax squeaked indignantly. The Dick Dick stood her ground. But suddenly, the battle was interrupted. A dog had broken free from a group of tourists and charged the scene. Chaos ensued. The Hyrax dove for cover, but the Dick Dick was not so lucky and was chomped. Stupid dogs. Hey everybody, it's me, I'm Puppet Brand, and I'm back to tell you all about the one, the only, the one that's gonna take your bracket to a big old W, a big old win. That's right, it's the Handyman. He's back, but this time he's in the future. <laughs> it's like a science fiction movie. He came through a time warp without his tools and he's in modern day Australia. So, you know, just like Encino Man, what's he do? Nope, he doesn't skateboard that cool. He goes over to a termite mound and takes his fist and goes, knock, knock. Hello? Yes? It's me, I'm Handyman. <laughs> and he takes a stick and he slurps them all up, eats them just like candy. Puny six legs, you are no match for my opposable thumbs. The Handyman wins. MC, I'm in Argentina, where the grasshopper mouse has just landed by the morrow. This mouse has just come from Alaska and it has still been freezing and sneezing. Mara hears all this racket and it's starting to freak out. Look, the mouse, apparently the mouse has decided that it's had enough of this madness and it is running off the battlefield. I'm out of here. You know, that's a good idea. Go get some rest, mouse. The Mara wins. March Mammal Magic whisked the lump sucker from a muddy puddle to the Antarctic, where it attached itself to the sea ice. The Emperor Penguin was once again in peril, fleeing an orca. Both Penguin and Orca crashed through the sea ice. The penguin was safe, but the lump sucker's luck had run out. The Greater Rhea was not feeling so great. He was still vomiting and shaking, and saw the wolverine now approaching, getting closer and closer. The Rhea turned to run, but fell to the ground, and the wolverine lunged, chomping into its gizzard, which was full of human garbage, like nails and twine. Blech. The wolverine spat out the garbage and chomped into another, better tasting part of the Rhea. weighs about 1,432 stoats. That is a lot of stoats. The striped hyena, meanwhile, is about 205 stoats. Imagine the drama, if you will. Under an acacia tree, the greater kudu and striped hyena locked eyes. They sized each other up. The tension intensified. Then the hyena turned and ran off, looking for something to scavenge. The kudu wins! The dolphin was beached, but March Mammal Magic was hit away from the seashore to a riverbank near the Okapi. The Okapi cautiously approached the dolphin and then licked it. 
Mmm, salt. The dolphin was revolted. Oh my god. Into the river, hoping it would carry it downstream to the ocean. The confused Okapi is the winner. And then there were eight, including one rodent. Join us tomorrow for the elite trait. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you're learning, you're winning. Yeah, wait, it's my turn.